Hey everybody, Joe here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we will be talking about how to schedule a shutdown on Linux. So you don't really need to install any of the apps that we're going to be covering here, where we're going to be talking about shutdown and RTC wake. Both of these are part of the Linux kernel in one way or another, so it's just a command that pretty much anybody can use. So the first one we're going to be talking about is the shutdown command. Now shutdown basically you can schedule a time to turn it off. So we can see it's 510 here and uh, maybe I want to schedule a shutdown for 515 or actually let's say like 513 I would do shutdown dash R and then the time which is 0513 so now it says shutdown is scheduled for Tuesday 513 in two minutes now at any time I can run the shutdown dash C command and cancel it, but I'm gonna let it go because I'm in a VM so it's not gonna break anything. And we will quickly look at the, uh, the syntax here in the command. So we've got the halt command, which shutdown dash H is, uh, you know, it's similar to the normal shutdown command, except it's it suspends literally everything and uh, just turns off whereas the regular shutdown command just shuts it down like a normal thing like a normal uh, shutdown and it halt doesn't suspend or anything it's just like a harder shutdown uh, shutdown dash p is power off shutdown dash r is reboot so if you want to schedule a reboot you can also do that and uh, there's also a dash k which is like a simulation command and there's a bunch of other ones here so can see shut down and it's saying it's scheduled for the 13 so we will just wait just wait <clears throat> yeah shutdown is useful if you're working on a bunch of stuff and you know you get done you want to schedule when you're gonna go to bed and uh, that's how it works so as you can see, I am returned to my desktop. My Ubuntu VM has shut down with the shutdown P command. So I have to just turn it back on. And that's how it works with any other computer, you know, virtual machine or not. When you use the shutdown command, it will just turn off your computer. And that's very useful. Another command that I really like is scheduling a wake up. So if you were to schedule a wake up, you can instantly suspend it and then say have it wake up in, in 10 minutes or in an hour, which is quite useful. So RTC wake, like I said, is useful for, well, waking your machine. So the way it works is you do RTC wake, then you do dash M, specify the type of suspend you wanna do. I prefer to suspend it to RAM because RAM saves battery power on laptops and it's also just a more sensible way to suspend things in this day and age with uh, how hard drives works. So you would do MEM and then dash S. Now I like to use this with S and I cover this in the article because with seconds you could be more precise. So if I want eight hours in one second, I can do eight hours in one second, all in seconds. I can do, you know, one day in one second or something like that. You can also use just UTC, but that only lets you specify the time and the date and stuff. And I just think that seconds are better so I'm going to have this wake up uh, suspend automatically and wake up in three seconds so let's do RTC wake and let it do it so as you can see everything has gone black it's instantly suspended we can wait for three seconds and let's see it come back so we are back and it has woken up, goes to sleep and wakes up just with RTC wake. And in the article, I cover a lot of different RTC wake things you can do, different suspension patterns. And uh, it's a useful little system command. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff you can learn. Uh, and this is useful if you like to schedule turning off and turning on. So please check this description of the video and uh, you get to learn more but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that this helped you understand how scheduling works and uh, i will see you in the next one